Hey guys, what's going on? If you want to pick up Ultimate Team Coins, make sure to check out the description down below for FootCoinKing.com and use the code A9 for a 5% discount. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Yo, what is going on, fam? It's your boy Double A9 Skills, and welcome back to an AC Milan career mode. So many people have wanted to see this series, and it's back, baby. It's right here in your face. If you want to keep seeing it, make sure to smash those big old thumbs up because you know I keep it going. And I'm really excited for this episode because I believe, I personally believe, we scored the goal of the season in this episode. Let's stop talking, let's jump into it. And as you can see, I'm gonna start playing around with the team, make sure I put out the best starting 11. And my team was actually pretty tired. Going into this next game was massive, boys, because we are in the top three with AC Milan, and the season is coming to an end. We get Roma again, we get Napoli again, we get Juventus again. So we get a lot of the big games, our second time playing these teams, and we gotta make sure we make it count because I'm not trying to do well with AC Milan. I'm trying to take AC Milan back to what they were, back to the strong, beastly European team they were. So going into this game, this is the, an important game because we're in the top three. Actually, at this time, I believe we're in first place. We're actually in first place, but a game ahead. A game ahead of Napoli, and we sit in first place at the moment. And Menez is going to start this game off. Wonderful. Menez is a guy I haven't given him many starts to. Look at look at this cheese. The ball bounced around. Oh, my gosh. What the hell, bro? The ball was bouncing around, and finally, it got cleared. Menez is a guy I don't give a lot of starts to. And honestly, I probably should. Look at this cheese. Holy shit. And in our stadium, boys, in front of our home fans, in front of the fans that bleed. Red and black, the AC Milan colors. I can't believe it. It's incredible, man. Either way, look, I don't play Menez often. Menez only, I don't even think he has one goal in the City of this season, but Fred here, who gets a chance to play, should have had a penalty, maybe. I'm not really sure, but the ball falls to Fernando. No goals, Torres. Actually, Fernando Mucho goal Torres because Fernando's beasting and feasting for us and I believe that's like his 20 something goal of the season Fernando Torres has been amazing then Fred's gonna have a great opportunity right before halftime crosses into the middle and the goalkeeper comes out looking like Superman and knocks that ball free and away and it just sucked yo going into the second half while well, this team we were playing just kept on dominating possession kept on dominating the play Legendary is not no joke, boys. Legendary is cheesy. It's no bueno, no good. It sucks, but I'm not going to go down because I really enjoy the struggle of trying to win the league on Legendary. So another opportunity for my team, for the team we're going up against right here. And Ochoa comes up with a big boy save in the game. In the 72nd minute, Fernando Torres steps by one. Fernando Torres lets it fly and inches away from being Fernando Torres' second goal of this game. And then a great opportunity here. Comes off the crossbar, bounces back towards them, and that one gets headed over. And that was in the 87th minute, and it, yeah, that, I think that was offside, so it wasn't going to count regardless. Either way, look, we were in first place with a game ahead of Napoli, and we slipped up in a game that, honestly, I think we should have won. That We should have won this shit, boys. We should have won the game, and we didn't. Right now, you're going to see me play around with the, uh, with the Portuguese national team because I am the manager of the Portuguese national team. But I'm not going to play no games. I'll sim them. You guys will see me sim them. Don't worry. I know y'all don't want to see that cheesy shit. But I'm going to show you me setting up my lineup. And the next game, we're going up against Florentina, the, the, the big, beastly purple team. And we got to find a way to come up with a win. This game, I'm actually going to be able to play my starting 11, you know, with El Shirawe and Zarata and Fernando Torres. A lot of the players were, had to be rested and their, their fitness was all messed up. So finally, we're going to be able to put our, our best starting 11 back in. And I also believe that Campbell comes back from injury. About, about a week ago. Nah, but he's back from injury. And uh, yeah, man, so Florentina, AC Milan were the away team. Hopefully, look, somehow we're still in first place. Somehow, I don't know how, but we are. A great opportunity here for, Fl for Florentina to start the game off with a booyah, but they mess up. Then here, Ox Chamberlain making the play happen. Ball bounces around, and that was our best chance uh, up to that point. A big chance for here for El Shiraway. The Italian Stallion that took a deflection and flew over the crossbar. I like it, baby. We move on. Zarata, goal of the season, just could possibly be goal of the year for AC Milan. I think it could be. I know it's not one of those goals you say, holy shit, but think about it. If this happened in real life, that could be candidate for goal of the season, possibly for the goals we've scored all year for AC Milan. I think that could be goal of the season 100%. Zarata with a banger, hits the back of the net. That's a big boy goal. Then Abate is going to come up with a big steal right there. Dribble inside and smash it past the keeper. 2-0, mother bitch. Florentina losing 2-0, and honestly, I say this all the time, yo. Against the legendary computer, don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. Holy shit, penalty. 
I don't know. Watch it back. Tell me what you think. Ochoa, I shouldn't have played it backwards. I honestly shouldn't have played it back to my keeper. First of all, the number one thing managers always say, if in doubt, kick the ball out of bounds. I didn't do it. I played it to Ochoa. Ochoa gives away a penalty. They put it in the back of the net. That's 2-1. Literally a minute after they scored their first goal, they scored their second goal. Bang. Ochoa can't get to it. A minute apart, boys. Like a minute or two apart. The game is tied 2-2. We were beasting and feasting. Now we losing and cruising. I don't know what to do. It sucks. It sucks horribly. Zarata with a massive opportunity off the post. And then look at the rebound goal. The rebound to Niang, yo. Niang, 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 Niang. How do you miss that? Hit the post twice. Zarata with another great opportunity. Missing the 85th minute. And that's going to be game right there, boys. We lose. Excuse me. Yeah, we pretty much lose. We pretty much lose. We tie a game. And we lose the first game. It just, man, it sucks, man. But we still in the top three. As you can see here, I'm going to sim the Denmark game with uh, with Portugal trying to make the uh, the Euro. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash the thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed. With a couple YouTubers, we're going to be doing the BPL League. Yes, the English League. And you get to go into a draft. So all eight of us go into a draft, just like American football, baby. We go into, an, into a draft. And everybody, there's going to be a draft order, which you'll see in just...